How's it going everyone today? I'm going to be teaching you how you guys can stream right now today. This is going to be a quick video because I don't want you guys watching a 20 minute video and it takes like an hour for you to set this up. I want to make this quick for you guys and as simple as possible. Enjoy. There are two major applications you can use to stream. One is called OBS Studios and the other one is called Streamlabs OBS. I will be showing you guys how to stream from OBS Studios today. However, they are very similar and you can follow along no matter which application you are using. Both of them are linked in the description below. As you download one of these two applications, you will want to go to speedtest.net, which is also linked in the description to check your internet speeds. It is recommended to have a stream upload speed of eight but it is possible to go slightly lower than that and still maintain a good quality stream. Once you have downloaded your streaming software, go ahead, open it up. It should look very similar to mine. However, you will not have anything in this bottom left corner. I only have stuff there because I already use this software. For you, you have nothing, so you'll need to go to click add right here by this plus sign. Press OK. You can name the scene whatever you want. This will be your main gameplay scene. Press OK and then bring up a black screen just like this. Go to your sources, which is right next to it. Click on the plus sign there. Go to display capture. This will allow you to capture your screen to your uh, OBS studios or Streamlabs OBS, whichever one you use. Click on that. Create a new one. Um, I already have one existing just because, I, like I said before, I use this program. But you guys will have nothing down there, so you're going to need to create a new one. Press OK. And it should pop up. If you've got two monitors, make sure you click the right one by selecting this drop down menu below. Press OK, and there you go. You got your gameplay slash display already on your stream. That's perfect. Next thing you're gonna need to do is add your mic. So go ahead and add another source for your microphone. Go to audio input capture, create a new one, and then select your microphone that's plugged in your PC. It can be a headset mic or a standalone mic. It doesn't matter as long as it's connected. Click it and press OK. Now you will notice that there's a bar displaying how loud you are and make sure you don't go too loud. You can also adjust these settings in a future video I will be talking about. Also underneath the audio input capture, which is your microphone, will be desktop audio. This will show how loud your PC is, so your game or any YouTube videos you may be watching. If you have a webcam and you want to insert it, just go add another source, go to video capture device, Create new and then select your webcam from the options below. I will not be inserting mine because I'm already using mine to record this video. Also, very important right here, you will need to connect your Twitch account to OBS Studios or Streamlabs OBS. Go to stream and press use stream key. This you will be able to copy and paste your stream key into here and start streaming. In order to find your stream key, go to Twitch in the upper right hand corner, click on your profile, go to settings, channel and videos, and it should be right here labeled primary stream key. Copy, make sure you don't show anyone this because this is very uh, private. Paste that into there and press apply. Next, go to output, go to simple, make sure you are streaming at 6,000 kbps as your video bitrate. This is very important, especially if you've got a good upload speed, uh, like eight or higher. If you have an upload speed that's lower than eight, you will have to lower this accordingly. Um, and you're just gonna have to test stream it out and make sure that your internet is good and your quality is good. Next, you're going to want to do is most likely you will choose hardware NVENC because this is streaming with your GPU and this is streaming with your CPU. You can try both. Like I said, you should probably stream uh, before you actually want to start streaming just as a test stream to see how things work. However, I do recommend using hardware NVENC. And then go ahead and uh, don't enable these advanced encoder settings. I'll be doing a future video on this where I can show you like all the advanced settings that you will want for streaming. However, this isn't that important and you should have the basics down just by following the tips in this video. Next, go down to video. Make sure your base canvas resolution is the size of your monitor. Most likely it will be 1920 by 1080. And then go to your output resolution and never go above 1280 by 720, at least not to start. So I answered that there. Go to Lanxos Sharpen Scaling down here in the other drop down menu. And then it will probably have 30 FPS down here. Change that to 60. If you're streaming and you're having issues, make sure you change that back down to 30. But however, 60 FPS is a lot better than 30 FPS. But there are plenty of streamers that use 30 FPS, so don't feel bad if you need to go 30 FPS. And after that, guys, you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will be doing uh, updates and tips and tricks to make your stream better in the future. Uh, please leave a sub. Uh, this is what YouTubers do. Like, whatever. Also, I stream almost every day except Wednesdays, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash plays. If you would like to drop me a follow, that'd be much appreciated. Happy streaming, everyone. See you guys later.